Welcome back to Degrees of Separation, the puzzle platformer where you play as elementals. I'm Lydra, and as always, there will be timestamps in the description box so you can jump ahead to the part of the video that interests you most. Let's get started. Today I'm going to finish up Fields of Promise. Um, I do have two puzzles that I'm struggling with a lot. So we're just going to have to see, um, we're just going to have to see how I'm able to handle those. Um, I might have to do some cuts so that you guys don't get stuck watching me beat my head against the wall for a really long time. Um, but we'll find out. Hmm. One of the things that I was thinking about while I was away is that both Ember and Ren have scarves. And of course, we're collecting scarves. So I do wonder if there's some sort of uh, symbolism for kind of the history of this world, that maybe that aspect of the culture that we're collecting these scarves from survived. So this scarf here, this is one of the ones that I've been having a lot of trouble figuring out. Um, I did have a theory that um, there's a specific snowball that I want to find a way to bring over so that I can step on it. But so far, it's just not really obvious how to make that happen. Um, another theory that I have is that Maybe if I climbed to the top of that tree, I could jump far enough. I think that's pretty unlikely, but it seems worth a shot. Um, I think I'm going to do the tree theory first. I already know how to get to the top of this tree, so... Yeah, not even close. Okay. Well, we'll go try the snowball. Okay. Hmm. Um... Okay, so the plan is to figure out how to get this just right up on top of this thing without letting it um, fall. So I need to get Ember. Great, okay. And then I think maybe the idea, because there is a gap here, um, which may be intended to make this tricky. So I think, oh, you know what? I think I maybe did this with the wrong elemental. I might need to have um, done this with rhyme. So the snowball was really like thick. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch them. I do think this is actually working better than I anticipated. Okay. All right. Hey. 
So now I just need to keep it I'm falling off the edge here. Perfect. Okay, I think this is working, you guys. I'm really excited about this because um, this puzzle's been really frustrating me. Okay, so now maybe I can get Rhyme to push it? Yes! Okay. Oh no, it fell. Oh, so close. Hmm. I'm going to try it one more time. I think maybe this is a thing where I needed to keep pushing it so it got a lot of momentum. Um, I also want to look into whether or not it rolls uh, faster when it's uh, wood. Because maybe the trick is to, at some point, switch Rhyme and Ember out. Um, all right. Okay, bring in Rhyme up. Okay. There we go. Ah, oh, yes. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay, so let's see. Um, okay, so my plan is to just get this to sit inside of one of these. Um... Oh no. Okay, there we go. Um, and so now I'm going to bring Ember over the same way. I'm going to bring Rhyme over. Okay, now hopefully I'll be able to push it up this slope. Okay, maybe maybe Rhyme won't be able to push it up the slope. Um, oh dear. I think I might have messed up by um, letting Rhyme freeze. The water wheel? Uh, the water wheel might have been needed to give the snowball momentum. Or the... Okay, yeah, so I think I'm going to try having Ryan come over here where he won't be freezing anything. And we'll see if we can get this to go back the other way. Okay, so now we just got to keep it Okay, we know we can do this. <laughs> All right, Ember, come on, you can make it. Good job. Okay. Oh, no, it stayed at the bottom. Oh, wait, but this time Ember's doing okay at pushing it up the hill, so I'm not sure exactly why it fell last time. But now Rhyme can come make it a snowball, and we should finally be able to get this scarf. I'm really, really happy that that worked because I did try it in um, my first video, and I just didn't, I didn't quite get it right. Um, so now we only have two more to find, one of which um, I know exactly where it is, and it should be really easy. Um, I just didn't quite grab it before the end of my last video. And the other one is a puzzle that, <sighs> to be honest, I don't have any ideas. Like, this one I had an idea. And I'm lucky that that idea was the right one. Um, but my next one, I have no idea. Like, I, I really don't know. There we go. Um, let's switch places, Ryan. Perfect. Hmm. Nope. Not 
push you forward, buddy. There we go. <clears throat> okay, so this time I just need to, um, properly set the balance between these. Um, so just need to figure out what order. Go very slowly. Ah, oh, here we go. Okay. I don't think that's tall enough. Oh, it is. Okay, perfect. Um, let's see. Fantastic. All right. Oh, and there's even a way down. So let's just pause a second and take a look at the stars. I think there's only one left. Stars should come up. Just don't do anything for a second. Okay, maybe not. Um, we'll just go down. It's fine. This is really lovely. All right. Um, I think this actually might be towards the end of the map. I'm not exactly sure where we are. Um, ah, here we are. This is the puzzle that I can't solve. Hmm. All right. So I would say the trick is trying to get the block on one side long enough for Rhyme to um, climb over. And then Rhyme's going to need to be over there so he can calm the air vent. But then I need Ember to... Um, now she needs to push the block under. Um, so first of all, the block is going to need to be small again. I wonder if this is a situation where if the block is up here, maybe what I do is I let the block roll down while I'm holding the rope. And then... Mm, okay. Okay. I think that actually might be the solution. I think what I do is I bring Rhyme under so that when it gains momentum and it kind of goes under here, he's ready to jump over and move it forward. So we're going to give that a shot. Um, I think the trick is going to be making sure that the block doesn't get all frozen, actually. So maybe Rhyme is going to stay here. Maybe Rhyme is going to stay here on the rope. No! Oh, oh, I think it worked. Um... Okay, I don't want Ember to come anywhere near the block. I need Rhyme to try to... No. Okay. Um, this is just a timing thing. I'm pretty confident. So... The timing on this one is really tricky. No joke. I kind of wonder if this would be one of the ones that would be a lot easier uh, with 
two players so I don't have to switch quickly. But that's how it goes. Yes! Oh my god, you guys, I can't believe I finally did it. Um, even after I figured out how the puzzle worked, it took me so long to actually execute on it. The mining pit reminded them again of the ore, both the promise of its secret and the hope it could bring them together. All right, you guys, let's go check out that dragon. I'm pretty sure it's a dragon. I didn't actually see the silhouette very well, but all the descriptions so far um, pretty clearly indicate that it will be one. Okay, I think I'm going to bring Rhyme to the front for those because I kind of enjoy when Ember is able to run across. Oh no, well, maybe not this time. It's not close enough to Rhyme. be honest, I'm not 100% sure I know where I'm going. I think this all takes me roughly to the same place. Okay, this is it. Okay. Yep, it's a dragon, all right. Okay then. Um, I guess nothing to do but move onward. Both were grateful the beast had not attacked them. It had been too focused on the sky, as if eager to be home. A home far from here. Yet the thoughts of the beast vanished as they came to a door, much like the one that had brought them here. Beyond, the castle awaited with other worlds to explore. Mm -hmm. Well, the style of this door is really interesting. It's not like the style of anything else we've seen before. Alright, um, so I am noticing that I earned an achievement during that session, uh, and the achievement is for the first world, getting all of the scarves in the first world, and you'll see that this door is marked with a single, like, slit in the, like, shield above it, and I wonder if that indicates that it's the first world. Oh, there we go, the gate is open. Compared to the sunlit world they had left, the castle seemed even darker and emptier than before. Mm -hmm. Trees and brush filled the interior, the outside world creeping in slowly. Well done. The sanctum looked as if a great force had broken through from above. A pillar had toppled over, but looked as if it might be moved. Oh, there's scarves in the castle. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. 
Hmm. Let's see if Rhyme is able to pull it further, maybe? Nope. All right, well, we'll have to check that out in a little bit. The two halves of this door seemed sealed together. No symbol lay on its surface, and it had a terrible sense of finality about it. Oh, I bet this is where the final boss is going to be whenever that happens. This is probably the number of, uh, of symbols is probably the number of scarves I've collected, or the number of scarves I will need in order to open that door. On this door was inscribed a great tree with a thick crown of branches. Mm-hmm. To me, the way the symbols are organized there, it kind of looks like... I'm just, I'm gonna try jumping off. I just want to see what happens. Oh my. <laughs> I got an achievement for that. So, worth it. Come on, Ren, let me jump over you. Okay, down I go. Hmm. Oh. That's really annoying. Okay, I think what I need to do... is have Ember go... Oh, can Ember jump that far? No. Okay. I think I need Rhyme to come in front. Or sorry, to have Ember go in front, but for Rhyme to push them? Oh, that's not gonna work. Hmm. Okay, so what if they find a way to trade spots here? Oop. And then... Yes! Good work, Ember and Rhyme. A processional hall, the candles unlit. Ahead was a meditation pool, still and quiet. Water flowed from somewhere ahead. It passed easily between the bars, as if defying the prison. This waterlogged door was ringed by moss which had spread from the door into the surrounding stone. Ooh. Right, I think this is back where we started. Yep. I think this was what led us to the out outer area. Mm -hmm. um, it does look like oh, I think the way to get back up is. Um, Uh, 
is somewhere to the back. So, so far we found three doors. Only one of them is open. Uh, but I did... Oh, there's a rope right there. Okay, so I think the trick on this one is going to be to reach that rope somehow. It's very far up there, though. Um, let's see if having them both climb on this will somehow, like, add weight. Nope. Alright, well, I, I don't know. Oh! Oh, I see, there's a rope that was kind of hidden. Okay, well, that was very lucky. Okay, so I'm going to jump to the other rope. Perfect. Oh, there's a different pattern of stars here. Uh, that must indicate... the different... Um, that must indicate all the scarves that are available here in the castle. Oh, found another. Despite the castle's emptiness, the presence of the other helped buoy their spirits. All right, well, how do we get to that one? The half-finished works about the castle were all around them. The absent king had forsaken the castle long before the elements had claimed it. Hmm. Here we go. I wonder if I have the character here. Will that make it possible for the other one to climb under? Oh, perfect. Okay, there we go. All right, so we're back where we started. Not quite, but at the boss. Hmm. Every time I pass these um, torches, I really wish that Ember was lighting them, or like these candelabras. Oh, okay. Alright. Well, it's an achievement at least, even if... Oh. I do want to, um, try to jump to that rope, though. Yes, okay. Let's see. Oh my, okay. I wonder if... okay, so it's whatever... What if a rope is pulled first? Okay. A throne room with a single chair. Suits of armor stood watch. The only guards left. It's all really very sad, isn't it? Oh, okay. Well then, Ember, you're gonna sit right here. 
And then... Awesome. Looking from above, the hall seemed even emptier. Light fought to enter the room, now that the candles had died. Well... Okay, so I don't think I'll be able to move any further over, because obviously, um... The piece of wood comes out from the left, so um, I think that's it for this area. So far, we've only found the one, the one open door. Some mechanisms had been dormant so long, moss and ivy covered them. Yet the chain served as waypoints and signposts to where to go. Another door. On its surface was etched a mountain, with rays of light falling upon it. Alright, well, now we have two options. Um... And no clear... ideas for how to boost up to the rope. For now, I'm going to go ahead and think about it while we finish exploring the castle. Great chains and pulleys ran along the galleries and hung from the ceiling. Burying the ore for the absent king. Great towers rose above them and the sky opened up, shattered stones leading upward. Right, just bring Rhyme along with us. Here we go. I kind of wonder if I'll be able to um, jump over. An empty bell tower, sealed off, the bell now gone. It was as if time had vacated the castle, along with its absent king. Okay, let's see if we can jump across that rope. Oh, no, not even close. All right, well, we'll just have to figure that out later. Oh, well, I did need to go down eventually. Oh, hmm. Okay, so... It looks like that's an area I've already explored, so I'm going to go ahead and just have Ryan explore his own for just a moment. Okay, I think this is something where there's enough going on that I'm going to want Ember with me. with a face, eyes closed, inscribed on its surface. Mm. Okay, let's bring Rhyme over. It looks like this is ultimately going to be a little bit of a dead end, but for the time being... Hmm, that's interesting. Why can't I climb this? I would expect to be able to.
Oh, I see. There's like blocks in the way. Got it. Um, let's see. I'm gonna see if I can. Nope. Okay. Well. For now, we'll we'll hold it up. Um. Well, what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> All right. You know, I think this is a good place to stop. I'm going to end it here. And next episode, I will start up on this doorway. So thank you so much for joining me. And I'll see you then.